Hey guys, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about wiring the Alarm.com communicator for your networks, GE Interlogix networks, uh, NX6, uh, 6v2, 8v2, you know, the network series. So what we're going to be discussing here is just getting this communicator actually wired in. Super easy to do. It's only going to be three wires that you're going to be wiring back to the panel itself. It's going to be a wire for positive power, a wire for negative power, and a wire for data. And uh, I'll also be showing you how to install the internet dongle, which if you do decide that you want to install this, you will need an ethernet connection. It will not do Wi-Fi. It's going to need this connection. So what we're going to do first here is we're going to go ahead and make sure that our security system is powered down. As you can see, mine is definitely powered down. It's not wired up for anything. But in your case, you would unplug the backup battery and you would also unplug the power supply. Once that's completed, then you should be ready to uh, go ahead and get this thing installed. Now the three terminals that we're going to be working with are going to be AUX plus, or I'm sorry, um, COM, pause, and data, which are all three in a row, uh, literally next to uh, plus, bell, and minus. So you'll see pause, COM, and data. Um, there's probably going to be other wires going into there. That's okay. Uh, what we'll do is we'll wire the communicator uh, after we've wired it to the panel. So we'll just get this thing wired to the panel first. Make sure your panel's powered down once again. So we're gonna take our red wire here and our red wire is gonna be going to pause because it is gonna represent the positive power. Now I'm not feeding this in through the back or through any punch outs on this panel. You guys are probably gonna have to do that on your end. Um, but uh, that's, that's pretty easy to do as well. Obviously you just go through one of the holes in the back or the top. Um, now we're gonna take our black wire and our black wire is gonna be going to calm. By the way, you are going to need a strip of 18 to 22 gauge uh, four conductor wire and um, you'll need to remove one of the, uh, the strands inside, one of the conductors, because um, you're only going to need three. So in my case, I've cut the, uh, the yellow one off and I, I've only got the green one remaining. So now it's red to pause, black to calm, and the green wire here, which is going to represent data, and we're going to get that into data and then get that tightened down. Okay, all right, now we'll go to the communicator, which I've already pre-wired, so this will just be me more so just showing you the connections. Um, to open this thing, it's pretty pretty easy actually. You just squeeze this little different piece of plastic down here. It's kind of perforated, it's got ridges on it. Just press that down and then you pull it away from the back, like so, super easy to do. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put that cover to the side here. Now. When we get in here, you're going to see that the wiring terminals are right here. There's three of them. They're going to be labeled pause, comm, and data. So, as I said, we took the red wire, we wired that to pause and panel. So, it's wired to pause inside of the communicator. Now, the black wire is wired to comm, which is wired to comm in the panel as well. And then finally, the green wire is wired to data, so data to data. Um, so, our connections are made between the panel and the communicator. Um, also, uh, we'll go. We'll talk about the Ethernet dongle. Uh, by the way, if you are not connecting the Ethernet dongle at this point, you're ready to put the cover back on. You're ready to give us a call with the IMEI number, which is located right underneath where the antennas plug in here. Also, it'll be on the the documentation in the box that it comes in. Um, so, uh, if you do not uh, want to install the Ethernet dongle at this point, you're ready to rock. Just put the cover back on and give us a call. Um, for those of you that want to install the Ethernet dongle, I'll continue here. Uh, so it's going to literally slide into this little spot right here, and it's actually labeled Ethernet as well. So we're going to go ahead and get that in there. Make sure I have it put in correctly here. Okay, it's a little difficult to get it in. You're going to have to, you know, kind of use your nails or something to squeeze it in. But once it goes in, then you are ready to rock. So, like so, it's connected to its port now. And this thing is actually ready uh, for internet and cellular communication activation. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.